Well, morning guys. Um, last night while I was just sat out here having a couple of whiskies, uh, bored, I've decided I'm going to do an aquaponics system. So this wall here, I mean I'm too close already even though I'm stood far back. So this wall here, you can see these plants. I'm going to take these plants out and clear all this area. It's a bit of a shame because I like these plants but they're just taking up too much room. I think they're called Dragon's Breath or something. So you do get nice flowers on them, you can see them here, but you can't actually see them. And it's just taking up too much of the garden. It's, you know, they're spreading, if you can see here, outwards. So, these are all going to come out. I'm going to clear all this area. And then on this back wall, I'm going to fit probably... I mean, I only thought through all this last night, so... But maybe six inch pipes horizontally i want to fit them across the walls here uh some kind of a shelf on the top for the seedling beds to start growing the the salads i could put a cover over and some uh grow lights eventually so it's going to be a bit of a a long labor i love but it's, it's a bit of it's going to be a bit of a hobby because i am quite bored so i mean you can see these plants taking over my barbecue so I need to get rid of them before we can because I've got a barbecue on Sunday, old mates are coming round. So what my plan is, obviously the pond here, the pump is in this corner here and it pumps all the way up the pipe and then you can just see it goes eventually up, up there. So what I'm going to do somewhere in this pipe underwater I need to cut into it and fit a T-piece. Now that pipe's two inch, so I need two inch with a, a one inch tee off. And then what I'll come, I'll come through underneath here, dig it in, dig the pipe all the way up, and then I can put it up the wall here and, and put a, a, a tap on it, uh, some kind of a valve so I can regulate flow as well. And then I don't know whether it'll be four or five pipes, which I can have it running through draining into the next one how long and da, 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 all the way around and then the bottom one in this corner then i can have it coming out buried in again and coming into the pond you know back to run back in here so it's just going to be like a bit of a circle uh i've had a quick look online i need to research it a bit more but i've, I've got an idea in my head how i can do it uh, and then obviously paint all pipes up make it all nice and uh, it should be okay so there'll be a, a lot of videos about this but it's going to probably be over a month or, or a couple of months i'm not sure because some of the stuff i'll be able to find here some i'll have to buy online and wait for it to be delivered and and things like that so it's not going to be started today and i'll have it finished in a couple of days it's probably it might even be a couple of months especially with rainy season uh some days you can't do anything like at the moment it's beautiful but you can see black coming already so that's going to be the plan so i'm going to build an aquaponics system here on this back wall uh just like i said it's a bit of a hobby because i'm you know you get bored just sat around so it'll give me something to do but it's just going to be finding all bits because i know in my head exactly what i want to do i want to have drain valves and blockage clearers and build it over time so it works and it's also easy to maintain you know so because for sure you're going to get sediment in it but this will be the first part now i need to start looking for a, a tee off and then some one inch flexible hose because i'll bring flexible hose out here and up just to make it easy for the return back to the pond that can just be normal uh one inch uh, plumbing pipe uh you'll not you'll not see it anyway and uh, that'll not be a problem but if I use flexible hose for intake, it just gives me flexibility while I'm building. I can shift everything out of the way and, and I can put a, a, a tap on it temporary just to make sure there's no leaks. Because that's going to be my biggest concern, this, this pipe in here. Uh, to get the T-piece to actually seal, because there's a lot of pressure in this water as well. I mean, as you can see, you know, it. if there's a way for it to leak, it'll find a, it'll find a way. So that's it. So... Like I say, over time, build this up nicely. I mean, I'm looking at, you know, grow it, get some growing lights in there. It's going to be open, completely open from front. Uh, but I will put some polycarbonate roofing. And like I say, I need some shelves uh, for seedlings to get them started. 
because this is going to be a pure running system the water is going to go in up here along the pipe into the next one down 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 and then the last one the overflow from that will go underground uh, and back into the pond because the 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 seed beds i have where i grow some veg uh it's not so successful really uh one thing is it only gets a little bit of sun in the morning uh, cats have decided to start using it now as a bathroom because at rainy season you know they can because we've got roof overhanging here they come down here in fact you can see they've been in last night again <laughs> digging all this up so i mean these are carrots but now nah, you know cats are destroying them uh, oh. they've not been back in this one for a few days but you can see this is my rocket lettuce it's and you can see it's dry because it doesn't get any natural rain and if i forget to water it then it's useless and also i mean they're a good few years old the wood at the bottom underneath is starting to rot so eventually this is just going to collapse so all this will come out as well i'll get rid of all this but that's going to be the project for the next i don't know maybe a month i mean hopefully i can do it sooner the main thing is i need to get a diy shop and start looking for bits but everything should be pretty easy to find some things i'll have to get online the biggest concern i've got is a t-piece for that pipe because i don't want it leaking because it'll just blow shit from pump back into water mess it all up so i don't know we'll, we'll find a way with that because the trouble is that flexible hose i've got for the pond it's actually the one with the metalling so it's even though it's flexible it's not that flexible if you know what i mean so i don't know we'll uh I'll have to visit a few DIY shops and have a look what I can find or see what's online. I mean, I've seen online you can get them. But the, the problem is the design for the glue fitting. So I don't know about the outside diameter compared to inside diameter. And the trouble is I don't have a piece of that pipe spare to take with me anywhere. So there's going to be a bit of trial and error and for sure a few bucks wasted trying to get right connection. Uh... And obviously put hose clips on it and glue it and, and see what I can. So if I'm going to put hose clips on, then I need to get some stainless steel ones. Uh, fish are all doing okay. They're not too bad. Again, we had a, some really, well, we've had really heavy rain every other day. And in, last week I've lost three fish, I think, after the heavy rain. Again, it's a strange one. But since I've started researching it, I've found a lot of people online saying the same thing in different there's even one in the uk they've had the fish i think 10 years and they got a torrential heavy downpour last week and they lost every one of them so it happens i mean it's not happened to me for three years of having this pond but it's just happened this year so anyway that's another issue so this is going to be it guys so we can have a look at this now what it looks like and this will be the aquaponics wall eventually so there will be more follow-up videos on this but they'll be spread out a little bit because it's just when i can get to it and uh, start getting all bits and pieces obviously first thing is this tea piece and get me feed up and put a tap on it just so i can check and test that there's no leaks and that rest of it should be pretty easy you know so no big drama all right guys uh, i'll keep you posted on this and see how it goes catch you later